Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my early access coverage of Pamela, or P-A-M-E-L-A. It is by N-V-Y-V-E Studios, and it dropped into Steam Early Access today, March 9th, 2017. And this has been a game I've been aware of for quite a while. Their PR team did a really, really good job of getting the information out to YouTubers like myself, and I'm sure many others. And it's been uh, six months to maybe a year that I've known about this game, and I've been eagerly and excitedly waiting for this to come my way. I finally got the word that they were going to be releasing it into Steam Early Access and getting copies out to the press, like myself. And I, of course, jumped all over that. Got it today in the mail. Super excited, super happy to see it. We're just going to hop in, and we're going to start playing right away, guys and gals, and see where this takes us. All right, it appears the loading is nearly done. It did take quite a while again. I guess that's just the way it is right now, but it's okay. I don't mind. I just don't want to have to keep you guys here and entertain for a good three or four minutes of dead silence with me reading the different things bit by bit. But let's enjoy the opening uh, sequence here. Probably not a super fun way to start off your day, I'm just saying. Alright, well that wasn't there before. At least I don't remember seeing this thing before. Alright, press, hold E for more advanced interactions. Alright, so we came out of this thing. This is the, the cryo bay, okay. We'll go ahead and we'll, we can activate it. Huh. Apparently my controller is uh, plugged into this. I wonder how this works with the controller. Now, it looks like it works okay. I don't know that I'd want to use this necessarily, though. I kind of like the idea of not using that. So forgive me, guys and gals, but there's going to be a sound. Because I don't want my controller to be vibrating all the time while I'm punching and doing other various things. So I had to remove it from the thing. It's totally fine. All right, so let's move around. I feel like my mouse sensitivity is just a bit too low. Let's go into the options menu. You guys can see some of the stuff here. We'll go in the controls. We'll go with mouse look sensitivity. We're going to definitely drag it up. That might be too high. We'll see. That's probably fine. Yeah, close enough. All right, we'll apply. Oh, yeah, that's much better. All right, I, I might even be too, too good. All right, so what do we do here? If we hold R, we scan stuff. I don't know what that does for me necessarily, but we can scan things. We can press T to switch modes. Huh. Interesting. Uh, scan buildables. R, hold it. Uh, place, pick up buildable. Oh, that's interesting. Switch modes. This is a uh, pulse regen. Hold R. Huh. Neat. So we have all sorts of weird uh, things that we can do. All right, so we come over here, and looks like there's something to do on this. I'm not sure what that something is. Hello. Oh, wait, we have a flashlight. Um, I guess we can. I guess if we hold R, we scan it, so it's locked. That's why we can't get into it. Okay. So you'll have to forgive me, guys and gals. I have no idea what I'm doing. Like I said, I haven't touched the game at all. So this is my first attempt. I realized I said that I was in, like, literally, I walked from over there. I scanned that. I got to, like, this spot, and the game crashed. So I, I haven't done anything. I haven't actually interacted with a single thing yet. So, oop. Scan. This one is not. There's nothing in it, I guess. All right. Uh, how do we open door? Just, do we do we, we just press E? That opens the door. All right. So we have fists. Is there any way we can see ourselves? I don't think so. All right. Energy cell. We'll pick that up. It's probably good. We're in a quarantine area. 
There seems to be a whole lot of stuff. So this game is supposed to be very atmospheric. It's supposed to have a lot of stuff going on. What do we have here? Oh, cool. What is this? A vanishing shield. Type shield. Created by... Yeah, I guess we'll pick it up. Uh, auto pick up is right button left. Okay. Equip attachments in inventory. So we press I to switch to our inventory menu. Oh, this is pretty nifty. An energy se cell. Okay, we'll put that there. Hold right mouse button to aim equipped weapon. Press T to switch weapons. Oh, I think I may have broke the game again, guys and gals. Oh, nope, I didn't. I just froze briefly. Hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure where this alleged shield is supposed to be, but they seem to think that we have it there. Still pretty cool looking overall. I'll give it that. Alright, so let's see if we can't get into the game a little bit more proper before we really draw any conclusions as to how cool or uncool the game is. Alright, scan that bad boy. There's nothing in it. Alrighty. That's cool. That's cool. What's this? You can scan this. It's a paper shredder or a garbage can or something. What's going on on this thing? Well, I'm getting the the rough idea of how to scan and maneuver and do things of that nature, which is cool. It says activate, but when we go to press the activate, it doesn't seem to work. Do we right click? Like if we left click, it looks like we punch it. See? It's a little weird. And then spacebar makes us jump. If we let go of E, it drops the... It's very odd. Alright, so there's nothing in that room. I guess we can close the door again. Uh, we do have a sprint. We can go into this room. We have a flashlight. Let's not forget that. So we can use that to see around a little bit easier here, I suppose. Uh, I kind of like not having the flashlight. Just a little bit, because... It allows us to do scanning and stuff a bit easier. You see stuff that are like glowing as opposed to being drowned out by the flashlight and such. Man, not a lot of stuff for us to really get. It seems that our running is a toggleable thingy. So you hold shift, you start to run, then you let go of uh, shift and you keep running until you actually stop running. Which is cool. Alright, we'll close that. I think we probably came out of this one, I want to say. Maybe not. Lots of exploratory stuff. Ooh, can we scan you? Well, we scanned the wrong thing, but well, I guess we can't scan the computer. What's this? This one's locked. Well, it looks like we have no way of getting into it either. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be anything else laying around that we can actually utilize. Hmm. This thing uh, looks like it's locked as well. Yeah. So not great. This is the one that we came out of, right? Yeah, this is definitely the one that we came out of. Okay. And there's the thing over there. Very creepy. The game has got a very, very, very creepy atmosphere. I'm not going to lie. I am a little perturbed by all of this. It's okay, though. Nothing. Let's go over here, go into the, the garbage can. And survey says, nope. Can we do anything with this? No. Well. Hello? Oh, you look like you done had some problems, lady. Like, maybe, you know, you've you seen some stuff maybe you shouldn't have seen. Oh, apparently I can hit her, but it doesn't really do any good. Oh, there's another one down here. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, it's blinding. Half of his face is missing, that, or his forehead's missing. That's not great. Okay, oh, a little bit of lag still. Again, I want to point out and remind you folks, it is in Steam Early Access right now, so just be aware that there's obviously going to be problems and glitches and things of that nature. This is not this is not going to be indicative of the final product, so don't fret, don't worry, be like, oh, it's a pile of junk. This is them getting this into the hands of people who have been excited by this for a while. Ooh, there's morphine. So we just press E and we got some morphine. Sweet. Which we'll probably need at some point. Knowing how I uh, handle things and operate. What's this? Shortly after I awoke, I asked the technicians why I couldn't feel my hands. Their blank faces offered no answers. Uh, okay, is there more to Shortly it? Shortly after nope. I awoke... I asked the technicians why I couldn't feel my hands. Their blank faces offered no answers. Huh. So it's very much a kind of explore adventure and you know bad stuff is, has already gone down. You know more bad stuff is going to go down. It's probably not going to be a pleasant experience. It may still be enjoyable, but probably not pleasant. Oh, what is this? Uh, status? I can't read that. Uh, okay. Thanks, I guess. Oh, there we go. Now we have it correctly. Still hard to read, though. If there was a way to increase that, that would be nice. Um... I'm sure there's a like a better place we can maybe move to where it's going to be a little bit more visible. Possible widespread contamination. Many reports have been received in the recent days that are indicating a possible affliction of unknown origin and effect. We are advising residents to remain within their home whenever possible and to maintain distance when all unnecessary sorry, with all unnecessary individuals. Uh, ARC Medical and Biostera, Riostera, I don't know, are currently investigating the scope of the contamination and have asked anyone with these symptoms to immediately report to an ARC clinic. Chronic migraines, fatigue, stiffness, soreness of joints, abnormal growths. It is asked that you please remain calm. Any and all illness will be quickly resolved once we discover the root cause of this incident. Yeah, maybe they need to brighten the back. I mean, maybe there's a oh, that was creepy. Maybe there's an option for that, and I just don't have it set properly. But I, I still think that they need to maybe brighten that up a little bit, make it a little easier to read. Like the game's got enough atmosphere and hard to see things. I, I don't need to have a hard time reading stuff because it's just not lit up well enough. Still, that's just me. All right, I can pick up or use it. So if I go to pick it up. It seems like the pickup is still tied to your punch. That seems odd to me. Alright, let's go ahead and scan. That one's locked. And Is there any way to unlock it? Oh. Um. Security response chance. Inferno... Okay, how about we don't hack that? So, it looks like we can hack some stuff. Well, that's interesting. Now I kind of want to go back and see if there's anything we can hack. Just going to try one more thing before we go on here. Torment is the hacking difficulty. Uh, we have no levels in anything. Praxis security bypass device... 5.03 version. Uh, Torment sounds difficult. I don't think we're uh, equipped to do hacking at this point. But still, it's interesting that it is going to be a thing down the road. Close the door? Okay, I don't want to close the door. I want it open. Man, it is dark. It is dark in this place. And that does not bode well. Lots of creepy, creepy things floating around out here. I'm not even sure what I just got. I got something, though. That's okay. We don't need to know what we got just yet. 
Doesn't seem to really be a door. Kind of looked like one at first. Is anybody ready for a jump scare? I imagine there's got to be one coming at some point, right? Not necessarily, though. though. This is definitely creepy, even without like there being jump scares and things of that nature. Alright. I'm sorry if my clickety-clacking on the keyboard is causing you guys any kind of uh, stress. Normally, it's not so bad. Normally, there's a bit more background noise and ambience and stuff. Ambient sound or music or what have you. And it doesn't become quite so noticeable. A water cup. Alright. So what do we have here? The patient area is that way. The waiting room is that way. These people all have seen really, really bad things. Not great. Definitely not great. I feel like we walked over a different type of floor or something. And you know how sensitive my mouse is right now, so when I freak out, which is bound to happen... Oh, cool. Um, I'm going to be like, ugh, like that when I, when I freak out, so you guys can laugh at me and mock me openly. Because I am not immune to jump scares. Sometimes I, I jump scare myself. Now, I don't scream like a little girl, at least I, I don't think so. I've never been that person, but who knows? Maybe this will be the first time where I'm like, ee! Sometimes I go, ah, ah. Okay, that's a little girl like. No, I, I don't generally make those sounds either. All right, so that leads back to the, the patient room. Uh, I want to go back to the desk because it looks like there's some stuff to do on the desk before we leave this place. And I already, uh, yeah, I already checked that one out. There's nothing in it. They, they apparently don't believe in lighting here. They're like, eh, lighting's overrated. Who really needs to see what's going on? You know who? Humans. We don't like humans here. We don't like humans at all. <laughs> oh, boy, this looks a little bit suspect. Okay, so what purpose does this room serve? If I scan the wall, is it gonna... No? Is there gonna be somebody here waiting for me now that I walked into the room? No? Well, those are good things, I guess. Oh, those are the bathrooms, probably, right? Maybe? Oh, I'm starving. That that sounds bad. Maybe we should do something about that. What do we have here? Berry juice. It's a drink. A water cup. That's not really food. How do we... Do we know... Do we know, like, what... I mean, I... I, I guess I could use it? Hydroponic small, buildable. Energy cell. Morphine. Drinks. Hopefully that helps us with, with our food supply. I don't know, though. It says we're starving, not that we were dying of thirst. But apparently that helped us. Yeah, I feel like some of the uh, stuff could be just a little bit more clear as far as, like, our device on the left. It's hard to see. I think maybe, you know, I'm, I'm sure it's intended to be that way. But I don't feel like it being a little bit blurry and hard to see really adds to it. Like, I feel like it detracts from the thing, if anything. All right, let's see if we can't hack this. Nope, there's no hacking this time at all. Oh, wait, there's actually a hacking mini game. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. You press E when you get into the thing. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I alerted security. That's not good. Well, that's interesting, though. I say I'm not thrilled with how that went down, but it, it's interesting that that's a thing. See, look at me figuring stuff out. Oh gosh, what's security going to do? There's no way that ends well. Is there a way in back there? Oh, we can walk through this stuff. Well, that's neat. 
Are we supposed to be able to walk through that? Because I feel like we're not. Uh, what? That, hmm. Well, I'm going to once again claim early access. I'm going to cite that as a, as a reason here. All right, we're going to go to the welcome desk. Well, at least I learned how to do hacking. That's kind of neat. I'm also slightly terrified at this point, but that's okay. What is this? It's, uh, yeah, it's Lux. Cool. I guess that's a, some sort of, uh, money type situation. All right, what do we have here? Oh, nothing on that one. Nothing on this one either. That's not cool, man. Gotta give me something. This is definitely a creepy place. The weird double door things at the backside. It's just, it's all very, very strange. I'm not sure I'm a fan of any of this. We can walk in here. There's a whole bunch of junk on the ground. So why we can do anything with it? Hmm. Well, sort of want to say that maybe going over here wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Yeah, no, that doesn't seem to really be that useful either. All right, let's get out of here. I think we're fine. Let's go to the next area. Security's already been alerted to my terrible hacking. What What was that beep? Why is that light on? That light on that light wasn't on before. Are we running out of energy or something? Should I be worried? Energy cell Energy cell plus. Oh, I'm going to use that. I, I'm assuming, like, that's the only thing I can think of as to why we're beeping, but. Huh. It's all very strange, folks. It's all very strange. I'm not going to lie. Oh, maybe my flashlight was running out of... No? Still beeping. Are we going to self-destruct? I mean, like, should I be concerned with this beeping? No, because I'm a little concerned with the beeping. Oh, what do we got here? Salmon jerky, yeah. What else we got? Lemon seed package and a water cup. I think we're starving to death. I think that's what the problem is. Let's go ahead and use that. Oh, I am no longer starving. Yay! Oh, I have a map. That's cool and weird. I'm still beeping, though. What 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 is what is wrong with me? Do I need more berry juice? I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm going to die. Am I hurt? Do I need morphine? Did that help? Am I cold? Can something tell me what's wrong with me? I'm worried. Well, I gotta say, the game not really forthcoming when it comes to uh, various different things that you need to do. I guess, I mean, I'll, I'll try hitting some of the other buttons, but I, I don't... I don't really know what's going on. I'm beeping. I got, like, red, red fringe stuff all around me here. It's looking bad. It's looking real bad. 
I know I've taken a very long time to get to this point, too, guys and gals. I, I am aware that's probably not ideal. Whenever the sun rises and the cyanotrope begins to glow faint blue, I'm reminded that only a day, not a decade, has passed. Left button to attack. Well, it seems like we're going to be attacking stuff soon. Oh. oh, that's how we block. Oh, that's cool. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're about to do uh, some combat here. Oh, you are adorable. Alright, well. Let's, let's do some fighting. My vitals are critical. Are we winning? I feel like we're... We should be winning. Oh, oh. And you are down, lady. We got some fertilizer. Lux card. Alright, let's open up some inventory. Uh, do we have any other kind of medical supplies at all? We do... Okay, well, let's close this inventory. Let's go ahead and open up our inventory again. I guess feeding didn't actually heal us. So the fact that we got hurt... Our vitals are no longer critical. I thought that said that before. Could be totally wrong. We're about out of time anyway, ladies and gentlemen. I think this might be an okay spot to stop. Uh, I don't mind learning stuff as we go, trying to figure things out and, you know, figure out how the game plays and everything else. I don't always need hand-holdy things, but this still has some tutorial prompts and things of that nature, which is nice. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of, uh, just, it's, it's strange. You kind of have to feel your way out, feel your way through. And apparently there's a very real and tangible timer on the game. As you do get hungry, you probably get thirsty, and if you don't eat, you start taking physical damage. There doesn't seem to be any indicator except the little redness in the edges, which we still seem to have, uh, that really say that you're getting wrecked. So that's a thing to be aware of. Uh, combat right now seems a bit underwhelming, but again, it's the start. Took us a lot of punches. I imagine as we go through a bit further, it'll probably be quite a bit better. So I'm not selling it short at this moment, and I don't think it's bad. It just at this particular moment, it does seem underwhelming from what I've experienced. But again, we fought one thing, and we had to punch it like... 15, 20 times in order to do so and be victorious. So, could be okay, could be absolutely terrible. I don't know. We'll have to see. All right, folks, if you guys enjoyed this, um, well, I guess early access coverage, this first video, definitely go ahead and leave a like and definitely leave a comment. Let me know what you think of it so far. Hey, we got some carrots. Uh, I know there's still stuff I haven't tried out, like the hyper hyperponics uh, chamber and stuff like that, hypo, whatever. Um, so I haven't tried to build anything for food growing or anything of that nature. So there is still some stuff that I haven't done yet, I and I'm aware of this. Apple juice. Apple juice. But that doesn't mean that I won't do it in the future. Uh, this may have been a bad first episode. It may have been a good one. I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I know I went slow, and I was pretty methodical with what I was doing. But again, let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoyed this. And if you want to see more, I'm definitely going to do another episode. Though I don't know how many more episodes I'll do. Maybe I'll wait for the game to get closer to release or another big update and then we'll play a bit more. Again, I don't want to get completely done with the game before it releases and I don't want to play it to death so you guys are all like, ah, oh, we've already seen all this stuff before. So it's trying to find and strike that correct balance between the overdoing and underdoing that uh, happens so often. All right, folks, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game information on the developer, the publisher, any of the wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video, as it often is. And until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>